some do's and don'ts in the studio. First, and most important, learn the art of songwriting. Don't just go in and throw some lyrics together and jump on a beat because guess what? That's not gonna make it to the top 10. Don't release demos. Make sure you mix and master songs. I know a lot of people don't do that anymore, but it's what separates you from everybody else. Remember, 40,000 songs are being uploaded a day on Spotify and you need to stand out, which means you need to mix and master it. If you're hiring a producer, which is different from a beat maker, if you don't know what that is or the difference, you should definitely take my course. But when you hire a producer, find out what his history is. Find out how he wants to be involved in the song. Did he write a beat that could be for anybody or is he writing for you? Does he understand what you can do with your voice? Does he understand where you want to be? Is he helping you to create a sound so that you can be that outstanding artist you want to be? And is he going to support the song when it's done? Because if you're paying him, then he's got to show you some love on the other end. It's always okay to record yourself at home first, especially to save money. Get the song down right. Get the melody down right. Make sure you know the words. I guess you can do it on the notes of your phone, but if you're going to perform it, you need to know it anyway. So try to get to learn the words of the song. It makes it better. It sounds more realistic. You can put more emphasis in it when you're not reading it. And at the end of your session, don't forget to make sure they bounce you the WAV file or the MP3 so that you can listen to it at home and go back and make corrections. Carry a drive or carry your laptop and make sure you get the stems. And most important of all, make sure you do a producer's agreement and or a songwriter's agreement, but don't leave the studio without a split sheet. Thanks.